Hi, welcome to this video today, which is on the subject of learning Forex trading the right way and becoming a winning Forex trader. Now, in today's video, I want to go through one of the most famous trading experiments of all time. Now, in terms of this trading experiment, it gives you all the basics you need to know to become a winning Forex trader. Now, the experiment was the turtle trading experiment. If you do not know about it, it is inspirational and you can get a lot of tips in terms of from the turtles that you can employ in your own trading to achieve consistent results. Now in brief, the turtle experiment was run by Richard Dennis, who was a highly successful trader in the late 80s. He had a bet with his long-term partner, Bill Eckhart, uh, that he could teach anyone to trade and Eckhart disagreed. So he got 23 people together and he taught them a trading strategy. Now all these people that he had in his group all had one thing in common, no trading experience. They were all from diverse different backgrounds. One for example was an auditor, there was a security guard, an accountant, a computer programmer. Now in terms of the group he taught them to trade in just two weeks. Now, after he'd taught them to trade, he gave them real money and told them to trade the strategy. Uh, they rewarded him with several hundred million dollars in profit, and they were compounding over a hundred percent per annum. Now, in terms of the turtle trading experiment, it really is inspirational, but also uh, it gives you the basics of what you need to achieve trading success. Now, the strategy today is freely available online, um, but it will no longer work. Now, it won't work anymore, the original strategy, because volatility in the markets has changed dramatically over the years. But the core principles upon which the strategy are based, you can incorporate in your own trading method to achieve consistent profits. Also, in terms of the turtles, they proved um, a recurring profit and loss ratio in forex trading that still holds up today. The turtles made 90% um, of their profits from just 10% of their trades. Now, all the top fund managers in the world know that equation, okay? Now, in terms of yeah, making money from just a minority of your trades, how do you do it? A lot of people might be thinking, well, yeah, patience is the key. Uh, it's more than patience that is needed. I'm going to go through the 90-10 rule and other tips uh, from the turtles in a moment. But first of all, I want to introduce you very quickly to three books uh, which I'm taking information from uh, to make this video, and I'd recommend them highly. Just going to review them very quickly and give you uh, some basics of the books, and then we're going to review uh, some top trading tips from Richard Dennis and the turtle traders. Quick introduction to three books. Um, hopefully uh, this video will encourage you to go and get them. They're all essential reading for traders. This one is on the turtle trading experiment. It's the best book on it. It's Way of the Turtle by Curtis Faith. He was the most successful turtle. He goes through the experiment in depth, but more importantly, how to apply the principles in today's trading markets. A really good book. Uh, should be essential reading for any trader. Just before I move on, we do actually also have um, a, a strategy PDF we can send you. It gives you all the rules of the turtle, psychology tips, etc. If you want it, join our free mailing list on the link beneath this video. Now, in terms of the next book, I've spoke about the 90-10 rule. You really do have to maximise your winners, okay? And The Art of Execution is a great book in terms of illustrating the 90-10 rule. It says how the world's best investors got it wrong and still make millions in the markets. Um, it's by Leo Freeman Short. He got 45 of the world's top investors. He gave them 25 million to 150 million each, told them to invest in their best 10 trading ideas. Um, they did actually lose the majority of their trades, but they were overall profitable, are really successful traders uh, in the group, and uh, they were successful because of the way they executed their trades. Now, in terms of this book, I can't recommend it highly enough. It says down here, a riveting read for investors of every level. It is. It's a great book for beginners. It's not a hard read, packed with information um, 
easy style of writing. It's witty as well, and you learn a lot from it. A brilliant book in my view. Last book, um, this is a bit more of a drier book um, in terms of style. Trading Risk, Enhanced Profitability Through Risk Control by Kenneth Grant. When you read this book, you see your risk management in a totally different way, because if you get it right, you can maximise your profits, okay? Now, Kenneth Grant, he's a hedge fund manager. He worked at Cheney Global Risk um, Manager. Uh, sorry, he worked, at, he worked as a risk manager at Cheney Capital, which is a massive investment firm. He also worked for Tudor Investments, so for Paul Tudor Jones, one of the yeah, greatest investors ever, and another famous um, investment management house, SAC Capital. Um, and he stresses that 90-10 rule throughout his book as well. So those three books, um, uh, if you want to be a successful trader, go and read them. Right, what we're going to do now is go and uh, look at the tips uh, from the turtles which you can use in your own strategy to make yourself consistently profitable. All right, we're going to have some points. Let's go through them. After I finish with these points, I'm going to just uh, give you some of the best quotes from Turtle Curtis Faith from The Way of the Turtle. So I'll do that after my little summary. Now, in terms of point number one, FX methods must be simple if they're going to make money over the longer term. The inputs to generate the signals should be minimal. Now, in terms of we looked at the turtle trading strategy, it really looked just for two types a breakout and took into account volatility. Okay, it's extremely simple. In terms of our trading strategy, we have three inputs. Um, a lot of traders want to make the generation of the trading signal complicated. Uh, if you make a trading strategy too complicated, it's like George Soros once said, it will have too many elements to break. So simple trading systems are more robust, okay, and work uh, complicated methods do not. Now, if you use a simple um, trading strategy, you need to have done your research on how it works and how it gets an edge over the longer term. If you don't do that, you won't have the confidence to trade it with discipline. Now, in terms of the turtles, they were, okay, they were taught a strategy by Richard Dennis. And even though it worked in the past, you made a big point of making sure they knew how it worked longer term, okay? Just so they had the right psychology and they could keep discipline. Now, it's a fatal beginner's error most traders who come in the markets just simply take strategies from uh, other people. They don't research the edge for themselves and prove that it works. Then they can't trade with discipline. Okay. Now, perfect example of this, which I've mentioned in many videos, you can go online and you'll find a huge amount of information on these really complicated pattern strategies, loads of peaks and troughs going backwards and, you know, it's supposed to repeat into the future of the pattern. Uh, if you know, traders did their research on those methods, they find they're doomed to failure. They obviously don't work. Traders haven't done their homework, okay? Now, if you understand the edge and how it works longer term, uh, you'll have confidence in it, and you'll have consistency in your execution of your trading signals to make the edge effective over time. A lot of traders, um, they hit a drawdown, let's say. They want to start tinkering with their trading strategy, making tweaks to it. If you do that, you don't have a trading strategy or an edge anymore, do you? You're just responding to the market conditions. Now, I think a lot of traders who come in the markets, and the majority, have no realism on drawdown periods. If you looked at the turtles, they were taking long periods of drawdown, you know, three months was common. There was one period, I think, where it was almost a year, okay? But they're not looking in the short term. They're looking on the long term, and they did make huge profits, okay? There isn't a trader or trading great who hasn't had a drawdown of six months or more. It's going to happen to you if you trade for long enough, you'll tend to find that you get you know profit bursts in short periods of time. That's where the 90-10 rule comes in, which will make you the money over the longer term. But get used to flat periods 
of trading or drawdown. Okay, now a successful forex trading is boring and takes a little time. It's like Richard Dennis, you know, taught the turtles. You don't have to do much work. They didn't. They were really only focused on the market at one time of day in particular, which was the close. The rest of the time, they just sat around. All great traders stress this point. I think it was um, Warren Buffett that said, yeah, I really don't spend much time on trading. Uh, I spend most of my time reading. Uh, again, George Soros said um, good trading is boring. It is. Um, uh, coming to risk control. Uh, really good risk control in terms of the turtle trading strategy, um, which you've always got to be aware is avoiding risk of ruin. That's blowing up your trading account by having too much exposure in the markets. Now, in terms of risk control, um, they use small position size, the turtles thereafter, big moves, okay? Um, yeah, 1% uh, risk on a trade uh, would be typical for the turtles. They sometimes risk even less than that, okay? Uh, you don't need big trade size. You always got to be aware of when things go wrong. Okay, so you don't blow up your trading account. Um, they also uh, adjusted trades for volatility. So, in terms of, and it's a common error by beginners. Yeah, all forex pairs have different volatility levels. Okay, um, yeah, they come in uh, beginners and they just trade a trade size they want to, and very often in really volatile pairs, they'll put the stop too close. You don't do it that way. What you do is you work out where your stop is first uh, to your entry and then you adjust the position size accordingly. So let's say you had a 100 pip stop. Um, your trade size might be let's say 1%. If you had to have 200 pip stop then your um, trade size would be 0 0.5. Okay, they, yeah, very good in terms of risk control. Um, also in terms of risk control, you will have periods of drawdown. And as a trade account went down for the turtles, they adjusted the trade size down as well, okay? So when you hit a drawdown, you don't wanna be increasing trade size and trying to get out of it. You cut back and come off the drawdown, okay? Um, the 90, 10 rule, okay? Uh, the turtles proved how effective it was. It is similar to the Pareto principle power law. It is a power law where one side of the equation is constant against the other. I'm sure many people are familiar with the Pareto principle. That is 80-20. Um, the rule in the market is slightly more extreme. It's 90-10, okay? So we know it's only 10 percent of your trades that are going to make really good money. The other 90 percent, what are they going to do? They're basically either going to cancel themselves out or you might get you know, marginal profits or, or small losses over time. You won't get anywhere unless you can get the 10 percent to be big winners. Um, a lot of traders don't believe this law is correct. They want to fight it. Uh, you could, but uh, you won't get anywhere. You won't make major profits. You can uh, look it up with all the great traders in the books I've given you that that 90-10 rule is a rule that all successful traders focus on and are aware of. So they don't actually mind losing the majority of their trades, just keeping your losses small. But when you get the winners, you've really got to maximise them. Now, in terms of most traders, um, they cannot maximize profits, okay? Um, in terms of point number 10, uh, we are risk averse, okay? We don't like taking losses. It's been proven that taking a loss uh, has a greater psychological impact than making profits. That was proved by Daniel Kahneman in his great book, Thinking Fast and Thinking Slow, which any trader uh, should read, okay? Now, in terms of, because we're so risk averse, that leads to stop placement errors. And what I mean by that is, um, trader 
when he gets a profit, a little bit of profit, you want to move his stop too quickly. A lot of traders want to get their stop to entry as quickly as possible. But that means you move your stop within the market noise and you get taken out of the market and then the trade goes on the way you thought it would. Okay. Also, a lot of traders profit snatch. Okay, so they just see the profit, it gets bigger and bigger, then there's a little bit of a retracement, uh, temptation becomes too much, and they take it. You've got to avoid that. Um, the turtles were taught that, you know, you're not going to have many really big winning trades, okay? Um, you've got to focus on not uh, doing stops within the market noise. And point number 11, um, difficult for the tur uh, sorry, turtles, Exit in the turtle trading system was difficult for the traders. And it is difficult in most successful trading strategies because very often you're going to see a decent profit come back against you, maybe even turn in to a loss. Um, you know, that's just the way it is. You very often find, or we do as well, you've got a re you know, an okay profit, it's not great then suddenly it turns into a loss. You've got to be prepared to accept that. And um, the turtle's very focused on the volatility of the market, not moving their stops too quickly. Um, in terms of the turtle trading strategy, yeah, extremely simple. It won't work in today's market because noise levels have increased. In the days of the turtles, You've got breakouts, high volatility trends. Um, today, that you don't get that so much. Okay, you still have trends there, but the, the big volatility of the 80s has gone, and you get a lot more noise within the trend, you know, spikes that can take you out and so forth. So today, market conditions have changed, but the basic principles of how the turtles traded yeah, it still applies, okay? Uh, today, alas, um, you can't make money with just purely technical trading strategies you know, or make really good money, you know, as I say, trading price action. Um, markets are too noisy. You need to know the sentiment behind the chart. And we speak about this frequently in our videos. If you don't know the sentiment behind the chart and you've got a good profit in progress, if you don't have a way of measuring how far that move might go through sentiment, you, you will not be able to hold the profit, okay? So you want sentiment filters and using investor anticipation uh, to your advantage. Now, in terms of uh, sentiment trading, just look up our other videos in terms of investor anticipation look at our videos on George Soros and the Quantum Fund, okay? Uh, now, in terms of turtle trading strategy, um, I just think it's really inspirational, uh, the story, um, and it does give you the basic principles uh, of what it takes to succeed in the markets, okay? Now, in terms what I'm going to do now is I'm going to finish off with some quotes from Turtle Trader Curtis Faith. Yeah, they're really great quotes and they're all true and will help you achieve trading success. So here they are. Thanks for watching the video. Take care. Have a good day.